<laughs> oh, I banged my knee, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're getting some people up in here. Got to wait a little while to see if I can get more folks. Let me grab my water because I'm going to be talking a lot. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope y'all are enjoying your weekend. I know I'm enjoying mine. Hi, Heather. Hi, Joanna. Hi. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. I'm just going to wait a few seconds. We got about four people up in here. I want to get at least 10 folks. Okay, but I'm not going to wait that long for 10 folks. Hi, Laurent. Hi, Kafia. How are y'all doing? I hope you all are enjoying your weekend. Yes. All right. Got about eight people. If y'all want to share your testing administrator, you can go ahead and do so. Just type it in the comment section. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I have to like get in close to the camera. All right, Ancion, hi, hello. I'm seeing some new names. That is good. That is good. Hopefully y'all have subscribed to my channel. If not, smash that subscribe button. Kick the like button on any and all videos that are helpful to you. If you want to be notified whenever I upload new content or host live streams, go ahead and ring that notification bell. Thank you, Joanna. Yeah, Joanna um, sat in on a 30-minute, the free 30-minute uh, coaching coaching session uh, yesterday evening. So if you haven't um, scheduled uh, your coaching session, your free 30-minute coaching session with me, uh, go to my website at nursejar.com and click on free 30-minute session and go ahead and uh, get your sessions in. I'm going to tell you why you need to do it, <laughs> why you need to do it, because those free 30-minute sessions are going to be coming to an end soon. Yes. All right. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We got about eight people in here. I want to start out with this live stream. Congratulating. Yes. Congratulating to Okay, of my nurse aid virtual coaching clients. Yes, the first one that I want to gradu uh, graduate, the first one that I want to congratulate is Pretty from Missouri. All right, uh, Pretty booked about six, I want to say a total of six or seven virtual coaching sessions with me. And our focus with Pretty was on um, her performance of skills. So she wanted me to observe and critique her skills performance and also her timing, her time management. So that's what we were focused on, okay? So out of the six or seven sessions, guess what? Pretty had her uh, certification exam this past Thursday, and she passed. Yes, she passed. My first success story tied in with my virtual coaching for nurse aid exam prep. I don't know who I was prouder of, her or me, right? I was like, yay, my virtual coaching is working, right? But I was extremely proud of her. Um, she had already taken her written exam a few months back, so all she needed to do was take her manual skills exam, and she is with a uh, headmaster. So um, I coached her on the headmaster skills, uh, manual skills, and she passed. So I want everyone to take out a few seconds 
and type in congratulations pretty because she did it. She smashed that CNA exam. Yes. Awesome. Y'all go ahead and type it in. Congratulations, pretty. Yes. Now, the second, the second um, nurse aid client that participated in my virtual coaching, um, she is actually going to test, oh my goodness, tomorrow. Ah, she tests tomorrow, Monday, yes. Um, so she has not taken her exam yet, but I want to tell you all about this little lady. I know that I have uh, talked to you all about her before, um, but she uh, she's had, a, I think, about seven, six or seven uh, coaching, virtual coaching sessions with me also. And her first her first session um, she was very nervous, right? I, I mean, I could like just when she signed into the, you know, the coaching session, I could see she was really nervous. Um, she had a lot of hesitation, of, you know, communication-wise um, during her uh, performances, right? So I think it was the second. The second or third coaching session, I was like, look, we got to like, we got to squash this hesitation. So that session, that is all we worked on was her communication. Right. And it was just a consultation of, you know, uh, repeated verbalizations of the opening procedures or repeated verbalizations of, um, you know, three or four steps in a skill, right? At each time, just doing it over and over and over again until, you know, there was very, you know, little to no hesitation. Well, I want to tell you all, it, and at the beginning, um, her, uh, her um, timing was on par. Like she probably performed some of these skills faster than I could, right? But as she wasn't rushing. That's just it. She wasn't rushing. Okay. It was just that she was competent in performing the skills. She knew what she needed to do. Um, even what made it more relevant or, or more, um, you know, identifiable for me that she was competent was because when she made a mistake or, you know, performed the step incorrectly or omitted a step, she would come look in the camera and say, I made a mistake, I need to make a self-correction. Okay, so that in itself, um, you know, identified that she was competent uh, in performing this skill because she uh, knew or recognized when she made a mistake and she knew what to do, okay? So I want to congratulate Niza. Um, she has not tested yet, she tests tomorrow. But I wanted to congratulate her because yesterday um, I actually had her perform a full mock skills exam, meaning she did five skills, okay, five skills. And she performed the entire exam in 19 minutes and 32 seconds, 19 minutes and 32 seconds. Now the skills she had that I, I gave her were was hand hygiene, measures and records manual blood pressure, performs modified passive range of motion or prom for one knee and one ankle, positions on side, and transfers from bed to wheelchair using a transfer or gate belt. Okay, so everybody, congratulate. Nizeth, okay, it's N-A-Y-Z-E-T-H. Tell her congratulations on her mock skills exam. Congratulations for improving on her vocalizations because during her mock skills exam, um, uh, the night before, was, was it last night? Yeah, last night. Um, she actually, did I? Yeah, it was last, was it? Yeah, it was last night. Okay, she actually had 
very minimal to no hesitation, uh, vocal hesitation throughout the entire skills exam. Okay, so she did an awesome job. Now, I'm bragging on these two because they deserve the boasting. They do. They deserve the boasting. But I'm also boasting on them, right, to boast my uh, virtual sessions, right? Um, they will help you. I'm giving you the opportunity uh, for a limited time, right, to um, go on my website, nursejar.com. In the top menu bar, you'll see uh, free 30-minute virtual coaching sessions or something like that. You'll click on that. It will bring you to a booking calendar and go ahead and book your 30-minute session. Free. Okay, it is free. I'm doing this so that way, you know, you can decide whether or not a virtual coaching session will help you in your success, right? Because this is your future, right? This is your future. You want to do whatever it is that you need to do and that you are able to do to attain your end goal. And your end goal is to become a certified nursing assistant. Now, some of y'all will remain a certified nursing assistant while others uh, will continue to climb the ladder, okay? So whatever it is, go ahead. It is free. I'm going to type in, um, let me type in my website address. Okay, there we go. There's my website. You can go ahead and uh, click on it, okay? So you can schedule your 30-minute session. Again, this is a free session, okay? A free session to give you the opportunity to decide whether or not this unconventional but proven method will help you um, obtain your uh, you know, goal to become certified, to pass your state certification exam. It doesn't matter if you need help, um, uh, like Joanne, Joanna, she needed help with, you know, her nervousness, right? So um, I told her one main uh, or gave her one main piece of advice that I tell my students all the time. I shared that with her, okay, uh, to help with her, you know, to help her overcome her nervousness, right? Um, so whether it's, you know, you're finding communicating challenging, you're finding the performance um, on one or more skills challenging, or you're finding your, you know, you're having challenges with your nursing theory or the written knowledge portion of your exam. Okay. So go to nursejar.com in the top menu bar, go ahead and book your free 30 minute session. Okay. Because it's not going to last for too much longer. OK, as soon as I can, I'm having some issues with my um, square appointment booking calendar. Right. Um, and that's the only reason why I'm still doing the free. Right. Using appointee. But once I get that, uh, you know, that technical issue taken care of, um, you know, you'll have to uh, I'm taking away the free 30 minutes. OK, and you'll have to pay the twenty five dollars. That price is good through um, April 13th. After April 13th, the price jumps up to $55 an hour, okay? So even right now, you can go ahead and book, uh, you know, your 30-minute, your free 30-minute session, and also you can book uh, your paid sessions. Go ahead and do that now, right? So you can get it at the $25 an hour cost. OK, or fee, because after April 13, guys, is bumping up to fifty five dollars an hour. OK, so uh, you can go ahead and book in advance. OK, to get it at twenty five dollars. All right. Um, all right. So we got all the congr congratulations. For the, yeah. The congratulations out of the way. Congratulations, pretty, for becoming certified. Congratulations to Nizeth 
for doing an outstanding job on her mock skills exam. Okay. So what um, the second thing that I want to talk to you all about is the giveaway that I'm having. Okay. So you have to be present till the end of this live stream. Okay, till the end of this live stream. Um, and I'm gonna know who who was present, okay? Um, and what you're going to do is you're going, I'm gonna type in my email there and you're going to email me in the subject line, just put giveaway, okay? Giveaway. Um, now, I don't have examples to show you, but I do have pictures in the community session of my YouTube channel uh, that shows you uh, the different, my different marks that I have. Um, and I, whoever, I'm going to pull names, okay? I'm going to write your email address down and I'm going to put all of them in a, in a hat or a bowl and I'm going to pick one name and that person will receive a Nurse Jar t-shirt. Yes, Nurse Jar t-shirt. But in order to participate in this giveaway, you have to remain here the, uh, for the entire um, live stream, okay? All right? Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I just want to talk to you all about... Um, uh -oh, hold on, guys. Okay, I want to talk to you all about um, preparing for your nurse aid exam, okay? But first things first, I got to do something for Joanna, okay? So Joanna had a question um, regarding uh, the washcloth, okay, when it comes to foot care. And uh, for her, uh, she's under Pearson view, so it's modified bed bath. Uh, for um, for um, Prometric, it's a partial bed bath with back rub. And for Headmaster, what do they call it? They call it something. It's a bed bath, but they have a, a different name. It's not um, modified or partial. It's something else, right? Um, so when you are Doing modified bed bath or partial bed bath, no matter what, you know, even if you're with headmaster, okay? Um, the very first area that you will need to clean will be the face, all right? The face. And you have to use a clean area of the washcloth with each wipe or each stroke, right? So I have this washcloth folded in quarters and fours. Okay, so for the face, you'll need to have it folded like this, okay? Make sure it's not dangling down, right? Have it folded up uh, because you have to start with the face and the first area of the face you must start with, okay? It's required, you must, right? And I think for Pearson view, this is a um, critical element step or bolded step. You have to start with the eyes, right? So I'm gonna get close, right? I'm sweating, guys, I'm sorry. But you'll, you'll have to, like I have the open leaves, okay? So four open leaves. You clean from the inner cantus to outer, and then you're going to flip to a clean area, inner cantus to outer, flip to a clean area, then you'll clean one side of the face, flip, clean the other side of the face, and then I'm going to go to a closed corner, okay? A closed corner, no leaves. I'm going to clean one side of the bridge of the nose. I'm going to just flip it over to a clean area and clean the other side of the bridge of the nose, okay? And remember, the washcloth that you use for cleaning the face, you do not put soap on it, okay? Only water, all right? Okay, and then after you wash the face, you have to get a towel and pat dry the face. That is the one of the most forgotten steps in the uh, bath skills, okay? 
the drying of the face and the removal of the gown and the removal of the linen protector after you finish bathing the person, okay? Those are the three most forgotten steps, all right? Now, when you're cleaning for Pearson view, you're just doing the face and then one hand, excuse me, one arm, hand, and underarm, okay? For uh, Prometric, you're doing the face, you're doing behind the ears, the front of the neck, back of the neck, the back, the chest, tummy, the flanks, right? One arm, hand, fingers, and underarm, okay? So Prometric, you're doing a lot more than what a Pearson view is required to do, okay? But for all other areas of the body, okay, you can just use that one washcloth, right? So for Joanna, for Pearson view, um, you're gonna, that second washcloth, you're gonna wet it, squeeze it out, put soap on it, right? And then I would still hold it in fours, but this is all you have to do, just like this. And then you wanna clean the fingers and fingernails individually, just like this, okay? And the last part you're going to clean is underneath the arms, okay? So this right here is not underneath the arms. You have to get in the pit, okay, to clean, in the pit to clean. Then you're gonna take your third washcloth for Pearson View. You're gonna wet it, don't put soap on it. And now you're just going to rinse the areas that you just wash, okay, and underneath the arm, okay? So Joanna, I hope I answered your question, all right? Thank you so much, Joanna. Thank you, all right? Okay, and uh, for Headmaster and Prometric, it's the same thing, okay? For the body, um, you do not have to use the clean area of the washcloth, okay? You just wash it as a whole, okay? All right? Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to look at some of these um, comments here real quick. Make sure there's no questions I miss. Thank you, Joanna. Look, Joanna's telling y'all, she's telling y'all my coaching, my coaching sessions are awesome. Thank you, Joanna. All right, Nerlande, hello. Landria, hi. Thank y'all so much for congratulating uh, Pretty and Niza. I appreciate that, and I'm sure they will too. Um, Kafia, the best way to um, practice for your written exam, um, you one, you have to not only know your nursing theory, but you have to have a good understanding of your nursing theory, right? Um, I've, I've said this a hundred million times and I will continue to say this a hundred million times. When your instructor is lecturing, whether they do it on a whiteboard or PowerPoint, or if they're reading out of a book, hopefully they're not reading out of a book, right? But when they're giving you um, lecture, that is information. That information is what is going to build your foundation as a nurse. So you not only need to know it, but you must have a good sound understanding of it, okay? Because that's what you're going to take with you into the real world, right? When you start working as a nurse, okay? Um, all of that information is what it, your written knowledge exam is going to consist of, right? Um, you know, and then it may have some, um, some questions regarding like nursing tasks, but you're gonna have to answer it as if you would, you know, how you would do things in real life, right? So how you do things in real life is totally different than what is required of you to do and how to do it during testing. Okay, um, I do, I have four uh, written knowledge test taking techniques that I developed about four or five years ago, maybe even six years ago, um, that I share with my students. Um, and these techniques will actually help you to choose the correct answer choice, okay? But you're gonna have to sign up 
You sign up for the 30 minute session. And if that's all you need is the written, um, you know, help with the written knowledge portion, I will share two of the techniques with you for free. Okay. So I hope I was able to answer your question, Kafia. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. So listen. I get, I receive a lot of emails and a lot of comments, um, you know, telling me that, you know, you know, my instructor never took the time out to demonstrate, you know, the skills, uh, the manual skills. A lot of it has to deal with the manual skills, right? I never gave us a lot of time to practice, um, you know, so, you know, they're telling me that my videos you know, save their life, right? Um, and I appreciate that, I really do. I really, I'm really like ecstatic that my uh, YouTube channel has grown as much as it has grown uh, because of the content uh, that I have on my channel. And that content is helping thousands upon thousands upon, uh, excuse me, thousands, if not millions of people globally, okay? When I say globally, I'm not talking about just in the United States, you know, um, or our surrounding islands. I'm talking about globally, okay? All over the world. Um, and, and yet I stay humble, right? You all you all keep me humble uh, because it, I don't know, it just, it's very overwhelming that I'm able to help so many people. But what I want to tell you, and this is what I tell my students, right? It's 50-50, right? 50-50, okay? Um, I, as your instructor, I'm going to give you everything that you need, okay? Everything that you need. Um, practicing in school, information, handouts, you know, you name it. I'm, I'm going to give it to you, okay? But I cannot give you your success. I can't. I, I wish I could. I wish I could hand you your success on a platinum platter, but I can't. I can give you the tools and the knowledge that you need to attain your success. That's my 50%. That's your instructor's 50%. Now, I want you to take a wild guess, okay? Where do you think that other 50% has to come from? Y'all go ahead and type it in if you know why I take a sip of water. You tell me who has to give that other 50%. I'm gonna give y'all a few seconds to type something in. Okay, your instructor gives you 50%. Who else has to give 50%? All right, Heather. Heather said me. That's true. You do, okay? And I'm glad I'm bringing this up because, Heather, if you're the only one that knows this, right, you're the only one that typed this in, Houston, we have a problem, okay? Houston, we have a problem. All right, Rebecca knows. Exactly, it's you. Um, and how do you give your 50%? You give your 50% by uh, paying attention, okay, while you're in class, especially during lecture. Um, participate in group discussions, okay. Volunteer, volunteer to demonstrate manual skills to your classmates, right? Even if you don't know how to do it, still volunteer, okay. Um, you're learning. This is this is how you learn, right? But most importantly, most importantly, and this goes back to um, you know subscribers who have commented that you know their instructors you know never showed us how to do this skill or never gave them time to practice in their you know learning lab, which is you know that hurts me. That makes my heart crumble to know that there are instructors out there like that, right? But I can't have you put it all on the instructor, right? Because we only give you that 50%. That other 50% comes from you. So you have to do what you know you need to do to achieve your success. 
because your instructor cannot give that to you. Okay, no matter how much we want to, we can't. Okay, like I said earlier, we can give you the tools, we can, you know, give you the know-how on how to achieve it, but it's what you do with what we give you. Okay, what you do with what we give you is what is going to give you that opportunity, not just to chase your success, but to catch it. Okay, not only to chase it, but to catch it. All right. Um, so again, in the classroom, you, you listen, okay, you pay attention, you take down notes, you participate in class discussions, you volunteer, okay, to demonstrate certain manual skills, all right? Then you have to carry all of that with you when you leave class. You have to carry all of that outside of your training environment. You have to, okay, um, because it's going to take more than you just practicing in class. You have to practice outside the box. You do, especially if you're a high school student, right? Um, I tell my students all the time, an hour and a half, and this is on their long days. They have three long days, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, where they get an hour and a half, okay, spit to spend with me. On Tuesdays and Thursdays is less, an hour and like five minutes, I think, okay? Um, and I have 20 something students in each class. I cannot get to all those students in just an hour and a half or an hour and five minutes. So I tell my students, you have got to take what I give to you and carry it with you outside of this classroom and practice at home. That way when you come in, I won't have to be spending, you know, the majority of the class time with just one student, right? Um, because that's unfair to all the other students. So you have to practice at home. Now, with that being said, I'm the type of instructor that allows my students to check out supplies. My only condition is that you know, the condition that I give them to you is the condition that you return them to me, okay? And you have to return them, right? Okay. But let's say that your instructor, and keep in mind, right, we're responsible for all the equipment that is in our classroom, and in our labs, okay? We have to actually take inventory every year, sometimes twice a year. We take inventory. Okay, on our supplies, especially our big ticket items, right? Uh, not, not really the disposables, right? Because those we throw away. But every non-disposable item, we have to take inventory of that, okay? Especially those high ticket items. So I tell my students, and, I, and I've told you all in several videos that you have items in your home that you can use to substitute for certain supplies, okay? But you have to be willing, first of all, you have to be willing to dig up those supplies, to look in your kitchen, look in your bathroom, look in the closets, right? To find certain items that you can use to substitute, okay? Um, and you also have to be willing to go a step further, okay? And maybe purchase some items. And I'll tell you, this is your future, okay? This is your future. Uh, you know, people have different reasons for, you know, participating in the nurse aid training program. If you're a high schooler, uh, some high school students participate in the program, right, just to get, uh, you know, some uh, graduate, you know, credits or credits for graduation, right? Other high school students participate in it because they want to go into nursing, right, in college. And some, um, some of your colleges are requiring that, you know, the student, the nursing student have their uh, nurse aid certification before they can actually um, start, you know, the uh, nursing program, right? Um, and then for most of our adult learners, 
they're looking for a better way of life for either themselves, if you know they they're by themselves, or for themselves and their family, right? Okay. So all of these are reasons, right, for you to attain that end goal. Okay. All of these are reasons. That is your motivation to go out and do what you know you need to do, right, to succeed. Because again, we as instructors, we can't give that to you. You, you are, uh, you know, are the, are the main, you're the major player in achieving your success. Not me, not my YouTube channel, okay? Not your instructor, but you are. All right. You are. Um, yeah, my my channel helps, but it's you that's giving that other 50 percent. That is, you know, you're, uh, you know, continuously watching the videos. You're practicing at home. Right. You're doing everything that you need to do. And that's awesome. OK, but I'm going to show you now. OK, what I've done just to give you some ideas of. Um, household items that you can actually dig up around your home as a substitute for certain supply items, okay? So I actually have, um, I actually ordered a three-tier cart from Amazon. I thought it would be here by now, but it, they haven't delivered it. It's supposed to get delivered today. But that three-tier cart is what I'm going to set my supplies on, okay? So that's gonna be my little supply storage, okay? Then I went to Walmart and I bought this little stand here, okay? Little stand, uh, the three-tier cart at Amazon cost me $29. And this little stand-up table, it can collapse, okay? It cost me $23 and something cents at Walmart, okay? This is what, I'm going to use as my overbed table. So when I'm doing my virtual coaching, I can show students, you know, or, or my clients how to set, you know, supplies up on their table, okay? Um, so $23, we'll just say $25, okay, plus another $30, that's $55, okay? You have to ask yourself, let me get down here so y'all can see my face. You have to ask yourself, is my future worth $55? Is your future worth, worth $55? I hope you say yes. I hope y'all say yes. Okay, because this is your future, all right? Your success, is your success worth $55? I hope you say yes, okay? So you go to Walmart, all right? You buy you one of these fold-up tables. They actually had a, a one that was less. I think it was like $13, but it set real low, right? So that's why I was like, no, I got to get this one, right? Because I can't be bending, right? Y'all don't want to be bending getting your supplies, right? So this was like, you know, a better height, right? Um, and plus it can adjust to, excuse me, to lower uh, heights. This one does, okay? So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people saying yes. Okay, so go out and get these items, okay? Get you a shelf where you can actually store your supplies and then get you a fold-up table that you can use as an overbed table, okay? Now, it is great if you have someone in your household that you can use uh, to act as the resident, okay? Whether it's, you know, a baby sister, baby brother, right? A cousin, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your papa, right? Um, your auntie, uncle, whoever, right? To act as the resident. Now, I've had a, a lot of subscribers say that I live by myself, okay? Hold on one second. For those of y'all that live by yourself, okay, you can get a stuffed animal, all right? This little stuffed animal here costs $15 at Walmart, okay? This is actually Gabby's, 
Okay, this is one of her stuffed animals she got for um, uh, Valentine's Day. But you can use a stuffed animal to act as the resident. Okay, you can actually perform the range of motion exercises, right? Because their legs are bendable. You can practice doing those, okay? Um, you can practice dressing, right? If you can find a sleeve that's big enough for these little fat arms uh, my little dragon has, right? But you can use a stuffed animal to practice on, okay? This will even work with modified bed bath, right? They got the eyes and the face, you got the underarms, the neck, the chest, right? You can even do parry care on here, okay? So you can um, use, if you don't have anyone in your household, you can use a stuffed animal or you can even use, um, you know, like those life-size Barbies. You can use those too. You just have to be creative, okay? Uh, a bath or wash basin, right? You can get these little storage containers from Family Dollar or the Dollar Tree, right? For a dollar and just remove the lid and use this as a bath or wash basin, okay? And you can see what I did here. I went ahead and I labeled it, right? bath wash basin. So I have it labeled. So when I put it on my uh, storage table, I'll know what I'm using it for. Um, use a, a oven pan, okay, for your bed pad. Here I have labeled narrow for the narrow end and wide for the wide end. So when I place it, I'm knowing that I'm placing it correctly, okay, because the narrow end should be facing the footboard. The wide end should be facing the headboard. Or you can even use a frying pan, okay? But these are better, okay? Um, you know, you can go get you some 50 cent toothbrushes, okay? To use as a toothbrush, or, you know, you can have one to be used as a denture brush. Um, I'm tired of bending, right? You can get, um, like in the travel sections of Walmart or some of you, you know, or even any drugstore, you can get the travel size toothpaste, right? And I have one labeled denture paste, right? So I have my toothpaste and I have my denture paste, okay? Um, I have a bowl, okay, to use as an emesis basin, all right? I just have it labeled emesis basin. I have a cup with a lid, okay? A cup with the lid to use as a denture cup, right? And then I just made shift some dentures out of foam, right? I have it labeled denture, right? So that way I can learn, I can brush it, brush the little groove, right? Brush the roof, right? Do what you gotta do, okay? Do what you have to do to pass, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, for your privacy curtain, um, I was really impressed with uh, Pretty because as her privacy curtain, she had an actual curtain, okay, that she had uh, strung up on her ceiling. And so she was able to open it and close it. But that's what you can do, okay? Use a, a old curtain or even a sheet, okay, a flat sheet. Um, or a shower curtain, right, uh, to do that, right? Oh, thank you. Oh, Joanna gave me a super chat. Thank you. I didn't even know y'all knew about my super chats. <laughs> thank you so much, Joanna. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thanks a lot. Um, so, yeah, if y'all want to, like, do a super chat to... I can't even talk super chat to donate to my channel. Y'all can. Thank you so much, Joanna. Um, but you can use that, okay? Um, and then, you know, I'm sure y'all have washcloths at home. You have towels at home. You have a set of linen at home. And even though you may not have a hospital bed, right? Yeah, you may not have a twin size bed either, right? Or a full size bed. But you still have a bed, 
okay? Or even if you have like the foldable tables, like the card tables, the long ones, the six footers, you can use that as a bed, okay? Um, but you have to do what you need to do, what you know you need to do uh, to reach your end goal, okay? Because like I said, uh, you're in control. You're in control of your success. I'm not, okay? I'm not. Again, I wish I could hand it to you on a silver platter, but I can't. I can't give you 50%. But you got to you got to come up off the other 50 percent. Right. Because you are in control, not your instructor. OK, so, guys, that was just some tips, um, you know, that I gave you for items in your own home. Like I just like, you know, about 20 minutes before uh, I started the live stream, I just gathered some stuff up and, and labeled it. OK, and it's good to label it especially whatever you're going to use as the bedpan, right? Because you have to place the bedpan um, correctly, right? So again, I would label one end of, if you use a baking pan or a frying pan, just label one end as the narrow area and one end as the wide area, okay? Know that um, for clean barriers and linen protectors, you can use chucks or you can use towels, okay? Um, you can go to any uh, department store, Walmart, Target, um, any drug store, any grocery store to buy the little puppy pads, okay? Um, I think you can get like a small pack that maybe has like about 20 in it for like $9 or something, right? But your question that you have to ask yourself is, is my future, is my success worth whatever amount I have to put in uh, to my training and into my learning? Is it worth that? And I would say yes, right? I, I would hope all of y'all would say yes, okay? Uh, guys, let me go through. Oh, my gosh. Aim, thank you. Oh my goodness, y'all are coming up with these super chats. This is awesome. I think this is the first time people have super chatted me. Thank y'all so much. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Joanna. Yeah, this training, teaching, and most importantly, learning is my passion. It is, it is like the ultimate, right? Um, yes. Hi, Gabby. Oh, there's my little Gabby. Hey, Gabby. Mommy's doing a live stream. I think she's hungry. She wants a dinner. I love you. You want to say hi to everyone? Oh, everybody say hi to Gabby. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Oh, okay. Let me look at this. Um, that's awesome, Rebecca. Rebecca said that she uh, bought herself a soft, soft doll with, uh, you know, long uh, legs and arms to practice on. Um, that is awesome. That Joanna's using her better half, her boyfriend. Hi, Nizeth. Nizeth, she sure did. She used her uh, teddy bear for her first virtual session. She used her teddy bear, but after that, she uh, had her mom. Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me put, let me put that down. That's my heart. She is why I do what I do. She's my inspiration. Um, oh, well, you know what, Joanna? You found it now, sweetheart. You found it now. Um, Trisha, congratulations, everybody. Tell, is it Trisha or Trisha? Tell, tell Trisha, congratulations. She passed both. Um, wow. 
Why? The, I don't understand. I don't know what the reading comprehension tests do. Um, usually, like for your written knowledge exam, right? Um, like at least 10 of those questions are reading comprehension questions that are not scorable. Um, they, they use them for reading comprehension or for statistical purposes. So I don't know, like, I don't know why they would require you to take a reading comprehension test. Um, hopefully you ask them why, right? If you already took your test and you passed both. Um, so yeah, they need to give you an explanation for that, Tricia. Um, Oh, thank you, Joanna. Yes, yeah, she is my little cupcake, my heart. Um, okay, all right, Amber. Well, the first thing is um, for you not to um, be concerned with what other people say. You are heavy. <laughs> Let me get you something in a few minutes. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. She can't make up her mind. Okay, um, back to you, Amber. Uh, my advice first is, um, you know, not to listen to what other people are saying. Okay. Don't listen to what anyone else is saying. Okay. Um, you have to understand that people, everybody learns at different speeds, at different paces. Okay. Some people are able to grasp really quickly, um, you know, nursing theory and also manual skills. Um, while others, you know, it may take them a day or two to pick up on it. And then for some, it may take them, uh, you know, to use, you know, to get some remedial training, right? Some one-on-one -on -one training from their instructor or another classroom, all right? Um, so what I strongly advise you to do is to practice at home. I mean, that's the only way. You're not going to get everything that you need. You're not going to get all the practice that you need during your training, okay? You're, you're just not, okay? Um, so, like I said earlier, you have to take, hold on, guys. Oh, 
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay, so you have to take what you learn from the classroom. You have to bring that home with you and you have to practice. I mean, if you know that you're slow on picking up um, certain aspects of the training, then you know what you need to do, right? You need to practice outside of the training. Um, I'll, I will say this for um, all nurse aid students, especially those uh, who have who will be starting a training program, meaning you haven't started yet, but your start date is coming up, right? Or for those who just started, right? Um, you need to find out who your testing administrator is or who your, excuse me, authorized administrator is. And you can find that out online just by Googling, um, you know, whatever state you live in, nurse A candidate handbook, right? And start learning those skills ahead of time. Be ahead. Why wait? I, I tell my students, what, what are you waiting on me for to tell you to watch a certain video, right? Why, why do I have to tell you? Okay, you know all of the skills. You should be doing this on your own. You don't have to wait for me to tell you right? Be ahead of the bunch, right? Especially, um, thanks, Heather, especially if you know, oh my goodness, Rebecca, thank you. Yes, you, you all will reach your goal. Thank you, Rebecca, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, but you, you have to do what, Amber, what you know you need to do, and that is to put more time and more effort into your studies, right? Because who's in charge of your success? Who's in charge of your future? You are, because you're the one that's gonna be making the decision on what you do, how you do it, when you do it, and why you're doing it, right? Um, so that's the best advice that I can give to you is just, and you can do it like, you know, I don't know who your authorized administrator is, I don't know exactly, you know, if you're having uh, challenges with, you know, the nursing theory or with the manual skills. Um, and, you know, but whichever one it is, um, or even if it's both, uh, you know, you want to take time out of your schedule, you know, outside the box in your training environment uh, to spend, you know, at least 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes to an hour a day, and you don't have to, you know, you can break it up 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, another 15 minutes here, another 15 minutes there. Um, you know, dedicate that time to your nursing studies, okay? And I want to just say one thing here, okay, because you said you want to prove them wrong. Why do you, why, Amber, why do you have to prove them wrong? If you still hear Amber, tell me, why do you have to prove your classmates wrong? Why is that your top priority to prove them wrong? Your top priority is to prove yourself right, okay? Prove to yourself that you can do this. That is what they think. They're always, people are always going to have their own opinion of you. Okay, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, it's not about proving others wrong, it's about proving yourself right. It's about challenging yourself. This is what I tell my students. Don't worry about how fast I did I did the skill, right? Even though we do have some little challenges like that, right? But that's for fun. But on a serious note, it's not about you performing a skill faster or more competently than your classmate. It's about you performing that skill with fluidity, fluently, with swiftness, and with competence. And then you continue to challenge yourself to progress, to do better than what you did the last time. Okay? So, that's where you're wrong, Amber. Don't, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. 
except for yourself, okay? All right. Um, you're welcome, Aim. You're welcome, Rebecca. All right. Thank you for congratulating Trisha and Isa. Um, the manual blood pressure. I tried, but I'm so... So are you, Amber, are you having challenges with reading the meter, like the tick marks on the meter? Are you having trouble hearing the Karatkov sound? Like, be more specific. And see, Amber, Joanna says she, you're not alone, right? So you're not the only one. That's why I'm telling you, you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody except for yourself. You challenge yourself. You don't challenge nobody in your classroom of that. You know why? Because they're not going to be the ones testing. You're testing. So you need to challenge yourself, okay? Um, yay, congratulations, Reagan. Awesome. I'm so, y'all, that it just melts my heart. Like, it really melts my heart when um, people tell me that they have passed. Thank you. I'm just, thank you. Thank you for passing. That makes me feel all warm and gushy inside. Trinidad in the house. Oh, Gail, hi. I told y'all it's like global. Like, wow. Like, it's just, oh my gosh, Trinidad. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Um, let's see. Um, Oh, and that, well, that's even, you know what, that's even uh, worse, okay, Amber, when you, and I hope some of your family members are watching this, right? They shouldn't be discouraging you, like, especially family members, right? Um, wouldn't care too much about coworkers, right? But your family members, they're the one uh, group of people that should be encouraging you and not discouraging you, right? Um, instead of them discouraging you, um, ask them to help. Say, hey, well, you know, you're telling me I'm too slow, so can you give me some pointers on how I can, you know, uh, become competent in this skill, right? Okay. Um, sorry about that, Amber. Oh, I just, oh, I'm sorry. I just, I think I just popped a pimple there. <laughs> um, I didn't even know I had one there. That's the bad thing. Okay. All right. There you go. Joanna says she um, she ignores errors and uses affirmations. But yeah, that's that's the thing. You have to um, you have to um, like block out negativity. Um, you don't want to be around, um, you know, negative people. You don't want to like have those negative vibes because then you actually, you know, you hear it over and over and over again and you actually start believing that about yourself. Okay. And that's no, no bueno. That's not good. Okay. Um, you don't want to do that. All right. So try to surround yourself, Amber, around positive folks. If those folks are in your household, I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, just ask them, look, like I really need y'all's encouragement, you know, to get me through this. All right. Um, you know, help me out here. Right. Help me out here. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I got to get ready to go because I got to um, finish taking care of my little gab gab. All right. Um, hey, all of you that um, donated to my channel with the super chat, thank you all so much. I appreciate that. Uh, that's going to help me uh, to continue, uh, you know, producing and editing uh, these videos and, um, you know, help me to, um, you know, 
reformat my channel also. So I thank you all so much. Um, I'm gonna put in here again my um, website. So y'all can go uh, click on my website. Again, you're gonna use the top menu section um, and it's going to be the 30 minute free virtual coaching session. Okay, you click on that, it's gonna take you to a booking calendar, um, whatever times are available, go ahead and book, okay? Go ahead and book you a session, all right? But if you book your session, make sure you show up, okay? Um, and if you're, if you know you're not going to be able to show up, have the decency and the courtesy to just go in and cancel that booking. You could do it, okay? Or even just email me and say, hey, you know, Nurse Jar, I know I scheduled this, but I'm not going to be able to make it right because I, I, I don't like when that happens because I'm thinking about, you know, there's so many other people that may have been able to attend you know, a session on that particular day during that particular time frame, And because, you know, someone wasn't, you know, courteous enough to think like that, um, they didn't go in or contact me to cancel. Okay. So that pushed that person out. So just, you know, if, if you sign up, make sure you show up for the session. Um, I keep notes of who shows up and who doesn't, right? Um, cause I'll be a little hesitant to approve bookings. If you, if you do no shows, no call, no shows. Right. Um, but yeah. Okay. And then, um, like for you, Amber, I think my, uh, virtual sessions would be beneficial to you. Again, you can book yourself for that 30 minute free session, uh, to make your decision. Oh my God. Joanna hit me with another one. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Thank you. I love this. This is awesome. Yeah, this is the first live stream that I've had folks to donate. This is so awesome. Y'all made me feel so good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so just um, book your free session. That will give you the opportunity, you know, to, you know, decide whether or not, um, you know, the uh, paid sessions will be helpful, okay, for you, right? Yeah. If I had the opportunity to book a 30-minute session with somebody that, you know, is in the field, right, they've been a nurse educator for umpteen years and been teaching nurse aides, um, I booked that free session with them, even if that's the only session I'm a book, right? All right. Even if I have no plans to book for a paid session, I'd still book that 30 minute session uh, just to get, you know, a little bit of help. Uh, because like I said, um, you know, the paid sessions right now are $25 an hour, uh, depending on what your challenges are and what type of help you need, you may need to book more than one session. But like I said, with, you know, purchasing, of uh, you know, simple uh, equipment that you can use in your home to practice work, you have to ask yourself, is this worth my future? Is this worth my success? That's what you have to ask yourself. OK. And if you say no, don't book. All right. If you say yes, go ahead and book. Book your free session. OK. Test it out. If you want to go ahead and book your paid sessions, I do it now, okay? While the price is still $25 an hour, okay? Um, after April 13th, uh, the price, the registration fee is going to jump up to $55 an hour. So if you want to book 90 days out, you can do that, okay? And you'll still be at that $25 an hour rate, okay? So go ahead and do it, right? I don't charge you for the entire booking. I charge you like the day before the actual booking, okay? Or your actual appointment, a day or two, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, I can't leave yet. Okay, hold up, hold up. 
So I'm getting ready to end. I have nine people on here. So I should receive nine emails. Okay. Uh, all right. Are y'all ready? Let me make sure I have it. Yeah. Okay. I have 10 people in here. Okay. If you want to be placed in my giveaway drawing, again, you can go um, to the comment, uh, not comment, but the community section of my YouTube channel to look at the pictures of the t-shirts, okay? Um, what you'll need to do is email me, and I'm gonna get ready to give you my email. Email me, and in the subject line, put giveaway, okay? In the next day or two, I'm gonna draw an email I will be emailing you to let you know that you were the winner of the um, giveaway, okay? And then I'll send you the information um, that, you know, I'm, I need to collect from you, right? Um, so I can get you uh, that t-shirt. Usually takes about two weeks, okay? Toya, honey, go to my website, www.nursejar.com and book yourself a free 30 minute session, okay? Go ahead and book yourself a free 30 minute session. I've already had one success story. Um, Nizeth, if you're still here, she's gonna be my second success story, okay? Um, all right, so go ahead and book yourself a 30 minute session, free 30 minute session from that point. You decide whether you know you want to book uh, any paid sessions. All right, okay, guys, I gotta go. I enjoyed this live stream again. Congratulations to Pretty uh, for becoming a Missouri Headmaster Certified Nursing Assistant, and congratulations to Nizak for showing so much progression in so little time. Uh, with her uh, virtual coaching sessions. She's awesome, awesome. You're going to smash that CNA exam on uh, tomorrow, Nizeth, okay? You definitely will. Um, you have a good week also, Rebecca. Everyone have a good week. I got a 12 people in here now. Uh, this is my email right here. I'm only accepting emails from these 12 people, okay, that are in this live stream right now. If you want to uh, participate in my giveaway, go ahead and email me in the subject line, put giveaway, okay? Love you guys. Thank you all so much for being helpful. I hope this live stream was helpful to you. Um, again, go to my website, book your sessions, okay? Um, I'm working on that now. Um, Liz, your girl, Moesha. I'm working on that now, actually. Um, I'm, you know, doing videos for um, my online um, ed app course uh, for nurse aid uh, exam prep. Um, so it's, it takes a lot, okay? It takes a lot for me to do that. Um, but I'm trying to get, you know, get more Prometric videos. And I think I have only like, five or six more to do, I think. I don't know. Okay. Woo. All right, guys. I will see you all later. Gotta go. Love you all. Thank you so much for your loyalty and your hearts and your smiles and your super chats. Love you guys. Ciao.